Hello folks, today we'll be talking about Strasburg Railroad number 90. Y'all have probably heard of this engine before, since it is their most popular. So now, it's time to tell you the history of one of the most loved engines in the world, Strasburg 90. First, let's go over some of its stats. Strasburg number 90 is a 210 decker block that was originally made by Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1924. Now let's talk about its life before coming to Strasburg. Strasburg 90 originally worked on the Great Western Railway, as well as Great Western 90. On the Great Western, it pulled sugar trains throughout Colorado and was one of their most powerful locomotives. Sadly, in 1944, it hit into a truck on the railway tracks, killing both the truck driver and the fireman on the train. It was fixed in the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad in Denver. Then, it was put back to service on the GWR. Then, in the late 50s, number 90 was put into revenue service very rarely. Then, in 1963, the engine was used in some excursion trains for the National Railway Historical Society. But then, on one of the excursions, one of the Strasburg Railroad Chief Mechanical Officers, Hubert Leith, met one of the Great Western Superintendents, so they started talking, and then the Great Western Superintendent said that they would notify Strasburg Railroad when it was time to put number 90 out of service and when it was be able to buy. Then on April 5th, 1967, number 90 was purchased by Strasburg for $23,000 and arrived on May 5th, and on that same year, it ran its first run on May 13th in 1967. In the wintertime of 1968, Ross, who owns High Iron Company, decided to operate mainland excursions through Jersey City, New Jersey, and Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. On the CNJ Railroad, originally Roland had planned to lease and operate two ex-Canadian Pacific G5 class engines, number 1238 and 1286, both owned by George M. Hart, but they were leased to the city of Reading, Pennsylvania to provide enough steam for the city after the Reading steam heat and powers boiler became non-functional. But since the tickets for the excursion had already been sold, they had to find a new engine. Roland was against having a diesel to pull the train, so he leased ex-Canadian Pacific 127 to pull the train. But as it was found, the train could not produce enough steam to go over the CNJ steep grades. Then finally, Roland leased number 90 as a helper for 127. And so then, they double-headed through the trip. So then, after the trip, it went back to Strasbourg. And after that, it has stayed on Strasbourg and hopefully will for a lot more years to come. And also, back in 2020, it was painted back into its egg-shaped logo and white wheels. Also throughout its years, it has gained a big popularity and even meeting 611. And now it's the end of this video. What do you think? Do you think I should make more videos like this? If so, then tell me in the comments. If not, that's totally fine. Now bye bye friends.